I don't remember a thing about no thoughts. It was almost like a zombie, like I was just walking. And my point was to get to the bridge and jump off. He was signing the back of another client's jersey, and I, I just thought he was Jackie, one of the guys here. And when I asked the client, I said, who is that? He said, that's Jackie Wallace. That's a Minnesota Vikings Jackie Wallace. I said, the Jackie Wallace? It just goes to show you that the, the, the disease of addiction can happen to anybody. I had been using a whole while and I was just coming down from spending up all my money. It was real cold in that February and I remember coming out, feeling that cold and say the hell with this, I'm tired of this. I got on there and went to walk and said I'm gonna jump off the bread. The actual physical addiction took over my body. So when I passed by the, the, the lasso exit, something hit me and said Jackie, uh-uh. Go to the rebuild center and talk to the psychiatrist. And that's what a lot of people don't understand about one of their family members that's in addiction. You gotta get on your knees and pray that they make the decision to go to these treatment centers and stuff who can really have the ability to show you how you should live with your disease and also how you should live with all the mistakes that you have made in the past. I had my moment of clarity when I was going to jump off that bridge. And once you get that moment of clarity, that's where you make that decision whether or not you really want to live or you want to kill yourself. And most people I know really don't want to kill themselves. I know I didn't want to kill myself. Once I made that decision, I had to have some guidelines to go, you know, place the gun. When you get that moment of clarity, you really do have to have somewhere you can go.